I'm Rena Flores with your morning headlines. The Salvation Army is breaking out its Red Kettle campaign this week, starting on Friday. Volunteers will be ringing bells for donations across select locations in the city. Donations can also be dropped off at the Salvation Army building at 1320 Southeast 6th Avenue. And the city of Topeka is starting the 2026 budgeting process with some early input from the community. Two sessions are scheduled this week for you to share your thoughts on the city's financial outlook and their priorities. Tomorrow at the Hillcrest Community Center at 630 and also on Thursday at 630 at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. The 2025 budget was approved this past September. That's like your 13 News This Morning headlines. You can head to our website, www.com, for more stories and information. But for right now, let's check the weather with Doug Myers. Well, yesterday was a warm, rainy and windy day. High temperatures in the mid 60s. Uh, yesterday, we of course had the uh, rainfall with over an inch of rain in Emporia, Lawrence, Kansas City and Concordia. Three quarters of an inch of rain in Manhattan and 0.92 inches of rain in Topeka Billard Airport, which broke the daily record for 1992. 0.48 inches uh, was uh, what that uh, record was uh, previously. And of course, we had the strong winds as well. A 59 mile per hour wind gust at uh, Forbes yesterday evening 53 in Topeka 60 mile per hour wind gusts in Emporia. The good news is we don't have to battle those strong winds today, but it's still going to be breezy. Lots of sunshine this morning before the clouds increase by the afternoon. Northwesterly wind gusting around 20 to 25 miles per hour and topping out around 57 degrees. So a little bit more seasonal for this time of year, cooling down to 48 degrees by seven and then decreasing clouds, especially uh, late this evening into the overnight periods. 34 degrees the overnight low with the west wind at five to 10 miles per hour and then topping out at 52 degrees with a cooler day. At least we have plenty of sun. So with those winds out of the west gusting near 40 miles per hour, it won't be terrible, but definitely uh, one of those uh, windy days that we'll have. And the winds do uh, drop back down to 25 mile per hour gust Thursday as temperatures cool down in the upper 40s. Those lows also get a little bit cooler as well and getting down below freezing each night uh, for uh, most, if not all of northeast Kansas. We'll certainly get down in the 20s for uh, both Friday morning and Saturday morning. Another a cool day on Friday, but at least with lighter winds. In fact, Friday and Saturday, those wind gusts should be less than 20 miles per hour the way it looks right now, and then uh, continues to stay near or slightly below average early next week. Right now, we have the full forecast drive for the next eight days, but we are keeping an eye on next week with the storm system that may impact maybe not necessarily us in northeast Kansas, but across the central plains for Thanksgiving week. So something to keep in mind. 